Well, it's another episode here with Wake Up With KC, and today I have two extraordinary, amazing beings joining me today. Because you know what? How do you find your unique self? Well, Angela DeMarco and Dana Sardono welcomes us today with their insight and what they're doing to help you find your unique self. Welcome, Dana. Welcome, Angela. Hello, PC. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dana, I Ooh. met you uh, a couple of years ago, and I helped promote your Ubuntu uh, gallery. So can you just give us a little, you know, more information about that? So when we met a few years ago, we met through a mutual friend, through Mary. And I own a gallery, an art gallery, an intuitive lounge in Stewart, Florida. And it's called Ubuntu Fish Gallery. It's downtown in Stewart. And the premise of the gallery is to, to uplift and inspire. It's this idea that we are all creative spirits at heart. And when we when we peel away the layers of trauma and pain and conditioning and we truly listen to our hearts and we um, are inspired by our creativity, the, the creativity flows in a myriad of ways. And what happens is when we listen and we um, allow ourselves to be creative, then our intuition begins to develop. And then some people on the flip side, they're intuitive, right? And their, intu their intuition or their um, connection with whatever it is out there um, allows them or inspires them to be more creative. So Ubuntu Fish Gallery is, uh, the premise is that one hand washes the other, right? That they grow in tandem. And the concept of Ubuntu um, the literal translation is, I am because we are, right? I can't be well, happy, and whole unless we're all well, happy, and whole. So I created this community, this gallery, um, based on the idea that when we're creative, we become inspired and intuitive. When we're intuitive, it inspires our creativity. And we all were on our individual paths, but yet we link arms and we do it together. And that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm sitting right now. I mean, you can see behind me is artwork that is uh hanging in my gallery and when you and i met um again because we had you you've even been here for uh for events you were yeah. here uh i think i don't remember which one was along with paul you were here for a featured artist event and you see we have celebrations we had you know indoor outdoor we got several little wine in the back and a little spread <laughs> on the table and we all celebrate our uh you know the community of ubuntu so that's what that's what I'm doing. And since you created that this gallery and everything, you also wrote not one but two books. And one I find very fascinating, it's the 10 recommendments. Can you share with that how that got inspired and what what was the purpose of that book? Oh yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm, in my head, I'm already trying to give you the most truncated version because, you know, it all started when, but basically, um, when, okay, so as a part of what I offer in the gallery, it's not just an art gallery. I said it's an intuitive lounge. So we do private groups. We do painting parties, do intuitive stuff, and I do intuitive guidance. And as a part of the intuitive guidance, I have my own tool shed, right? My own brand to do this, that, and the other, and life will be better. And my own way of, of um, presenting the, the material or helping people. And about a year now, last April, so a year and a few months ago, my whole family got COVID. 
right? So I hadn't gotten through the whole COVID scare. I hadn't gotten COVID. I was still throwing parties in the gallery. I was still, you know, licking toilet seats. I was still really, that is a joke. I see the expression on your face, just to be clear. Okay. So, but I was still kind of like, you know, I'm in Florida, so there's no rules here, right? So I'm all willy nilly with the whole COVID stuff. And so we had an event here called um, uh, Chakra Khan. I had written this children's book about chakras for kids through the party, no issues. I decided we're gonna go on a family vacation and we're going to, I'm gonna celebrate and I'm gonna take a rest. We go to Disney World, we come back, we all get COVID. So April of last year, again, four of us, I have two young daughters and my husband and I all get COVID at the same time. And when we're in bed, right after that point where you think you're gonna die, like right after that point, when you're just kind of laying there enjoying the vacation and just not feeling well, I kept getting this real profound information was falling in my head. It was information that I utilize in my intuitive guidance sessions, but it was like, in a more profound way. So somewhere in my quasi clarity, I would grab my phone and in my notes, I would like write something down. And then when I started feeling better and getting up and moving around, I realized that I had 10 pieces of gold. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a lecture series someday, or maybe I'll do a blah, blah. And then I went on um, the my laptop to start organizing it. And, I was, and then I started writing about one of the one of the recommendments, like we'll just say the first one, I shall not claim victimhood, right? I'm like, oh, let me write a little summary about that. And the next thing I know, I'm like, I think I'm writing a book. And so while having had COVID, right, by the way, that's the truncated version. <laughs> that's the that's short version. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh my God. But anyway, um, I start writing this book and it, it poured out of me. Like you hear people going, it took me 13 years to write this book. I wrote it in a month. I wrote it a month. The first version. Wow. You wrote it, and then you edit it, and then you edit it again, and then you have Miss the talented Angela DeMarco create the cover for me, and then you got to get the publisher, and you got to write the query letter. There's a whole lot more that goes into it. But the actual writing of the book, it was everything that I know through all the experience that I've had, a degree of my having an open channel and, and, um, a connection with, you know, universal knowledge and wisdom, and it just poured through me. And, and so people are like, yeah, hey, you know, I got COVID and, you know, this happened. And I got, I remember. So that's so, how. And just to interject on that, <clears throat> I was privy enough to get chapters as they were written. And for everything, every time a chapter would end, not only would I be doing the work that Dana kind of outlined, I would be loving the stories because she's full frontal on this whole thing. I mean, you get she gets deep on her own personal experiences and how she overcame them. So it's really like a how to awesome book. So I would go through the chapter. I'd talk to her on the phone. I'd get the guidance about it. And it'd be the last. She always has these like amazing last sentences that leave you like salivating for the next thing. <laughs> so I'm like, hurry up, bring that next chapter over. And um it's, it's like so profound. It's so profound and it is such a game changer, her book. Um, it, it's just, I, it's not for wimps. I got to say that. Like if you're going to get in there and do the work, it is not for wimps because you go deep and you go hard, but it is. That's what she said. That's what she said. I, you know, I appreciate that. And Angela, who is in, again, we'll be, I'm sure you'll be talking to Angela shortly, but she, um, is a phenom and a powerhouse and the, the probably one of the most, I have to say one of them because I have to say my husband's the most brilliant person I know, but one of the most brilliant people I know. And she, I watched Angela's life in the last year evolve. Now she didn't, it didn't start out train wrecky, but she had some things she needed to work through. And I watched, she would take it and talk about, you know, the best student ever. She would do everything she was supposed to do. And there's a line from the book, and I'm just going to spoil alert, but there's a, a line from the book where I talk about how, how we learn, we're here to learn, grow, and expand, right? I know your audience gets this, right? So we're here to learn, grow, and expand, but we should be doing it with love and joy. And we forget that, you know, oh, life is hard and, you know, it's very stressful. No, love and joy and just enjoy your life. But we're here, our purpose is to learn, grow and expand. And the you, again, whether you think it's God, universal forces, Hashem, Allah, whatever, you know what I mean? The, the forces of the universe will guide you 
to this expansion, right? Everything is working out for you and guide you to this expansion. So I say your experiences could remind you that you have a lesson to learn through a tickle of a feather or a tap on the shoulder or a knock to the arm or a punch in the gut. And then one of the lines is, and sometimes the universe has to give you a good old fashioned twat punch to really express to you what you need to learn. So I'll call Angela on the phone when she's got something she needs to work out. And I'm like, are you ready? So up. And she's like, oh my God, my twat's ready. I'm ready. And I'm like, so there are some days she's like, oh, it's battered, man. You got to back off. It's completely battered. So now everything is about, you ready for, like, it's not like, can I be honest with you? It's like, you ready for the twat punch? Get your head out of your ass. <laughs> and you know what, that, it's like you, you said it perfectly. You know, we, and I'm all about, you know, when I'm coaching or, you know, even on my show, I talk about, you know, from our birth, we're already being programmed. We're already getting these beliefs that's passed down. And unfortunately, they've been passed down for generations. Yeah. yeah. And that's what is in our subconscious. And if you're most of us are not even aware of it. And then get the emotional energetic traumas on top of what we create through our experiences and what's been passed down as well. Yeah, we don't even realize that Angela and I were having a conversation earlier today. Uh, the details of the extended conversation don't matter, but the, the term, we're talking about somebody's mistress, right? And when we mentioned it, Angela's, Angela, do you mind? No, no. Okay, Angela's knee-jerk reaction was, well, yeah, punch right to the truck. <laughs> Angela's knee-jerk reaction was, well, you know, the mistress, like she's like the unsavory one, right? And I was like, that's our societal conditioning. Because, mm -hmm. because the belief system is, and I don't want to go up on a, go up on a whole tangent about this, but let's just think about just the, the way we look at things. The belief system is wife is good, mistress is bad, and so you know, we don't we, we, we could say bad things about her, right? But the reality is we are talking about a relationship that was maybe hundreds of years ago, we'll say, we'll say, okay? And this idea that there's arranged marriages, right? There's arranged marriages and maybe the mistress was the true love. And even though we could put our judgment on it that, well, she shouldn't have done that, that's our learned judgment. The reality is if there's love there, there's love there. And all these constructs we put around it are ours. And we don't even realize, oh, a squirrel. How's that for an attention span? Hey, guy. <laughs> He's right up on my deck. Focus. So what we tend to overlook is our what as we grow, as we evolve, what we've picked up as individuals and as a society. Right. So as individuals, if I in kindergarten, if my mother was continuously late to pick me up from school because she had three jobs to support me because she loved me and wanted me to be well. Right. But me, the kindergartner with that five year old brain only knows is I can't count on my mother to be there when she said she'd be there. So therefore, I can't trust the adults in my life. And if I get close to somebody and love somebody, then there's likely, um, I'm likely going to be abandoned. So then I develop the pattern of my self um, uh, coping mechanisms. So I'm not abandoned. Maybe I become too clingy. Well, what happens when somebody becomes too clingy? They push somebody else away and therefore perpetuating the pattern of abandonment. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we do this our whole lives and don't even realize that we're doing it. So to go back to the core of the book, um, it begins with a little bit about my story. So you get a sense that I've taken a life of a dumpster fire and through the work and through these realizations um, and through layers and layers and layers. It's not like overnight you flip a switch. You create your vision board and life is beautiful. You know, where's all my stuff? It's not like that. So doing the work and, and overcoming traumas and moving forward, now I'm living this magical existence. So I speak a little bit about that. And then the first few chapters talk about beliefs and patterns and reversing those patterns. And there's real literal like how-to stuff. 
you know, step one, try this, step two, try this. And then I explain my, like I said, my experiences. And then the rest of the book are all like window dressing. Hey, try this, add this to your repertoire and add this to your repertoire. And, and that's, and I have already forgotten your question, but I'll stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, how, my next question then would be is how did you and Angela meet? <laughs> I will pass that baton to you, Angela. Oh, go ahead. picture it. 1992. <laughs> <laughs> college freshman, young from the city, going down to school in Tampa, Florida, and I rush a sorority, and there's this blonde-haired, bigger-than-life woman dressed as Sebastian the Crab from The Little Mermaid. Just to be clear, that was me. Go ahead. <laughs> and so this is during Rush. This was my first introduction to Dana. And it was just like all was hair and, and, and crab arms and dancing. And um, and then I got into the sorority. That was, they, they, they chose me. And um, Dana was the pledge mom. So for you know, four or five months, Dana was like our mom away from home, basically. And I worship the ground she walked on <laughs> i was in charge of keeping them out of trouble but getting them in trouble at the same time oh yeah yeah the, the nickel <laughs> the tijuanas you know and bad oh, and God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so we met in college and dana was a senior so we were quickly you know went our separate ways basically and um about 25 years later you know, we both went and dumpster fired our own lives and, and had craziness. But um, uh, 13, 13 years ago, <clears throat> I went into AA because I was I was a train wreck and my life was a mess. I was a functioning alcoholic, but I was an alcoholic nonetheless. And um, about five years in to that, I don't know, time wise, whatever, I had done reached out to Dana because I saw her on Facebook and I loved her so much. And so I was like, oh my gosh, she's got to be on my ninth step list. So I sent her a message. I'm like, hi, I don't, like, I don't even know if you remember me, you know, but like, I'm really sorry for the way I acted back in college. And she's like, what are you talking about? So we kind of like um, stayed in touch on Facebook, you know, where you just do the likes and the here and there, but nothing more than that. And then, um, uh, in 2020, um, in October, I announced on Facebook that I was pregnant. And then in Dece on December 3rd, I lost the baby. So I was in my second trimester. And because I announced it on Facebook, I wanted to kind of like uh, cut out the what's how, how far along are you kind of stuff. So I just said like, hey, I lost the baby. And I did this long post and stuff like that. So Dana wrote me a message and we really reconnected back at, the, at that point. And um, so that was December and we kind of like stayed in touch with a little bit of messaging here and there. And I was really moved by her share with me in, in message in the message. And then um, at, I'm a, I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan. Like uh, Eddie Vedder and I are like, we're going to be best besties. It's a sickness. It's, a sickness. It's, it's extreme. It's extreme. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not like one of those crazy people. We are, we are like friends. He just doesn't know yet. So, um, so Dana had found, like, come across some, like, post about Eddie Vedder. And I was in the spiritual group. We was, like, we called it, like, the Ascension Group or something like that, where I was meeting with this one group um, with Victor Odo. He's just some YouTuber guy. And um, we were just focusing on, like, okay, what, what, were, what were our life goals when we were 5 years old, 15 years old, 18 years old? And we went through, like, who we were back then and what we wanted. So I had just done like my 20 year old self and I'm like, oh, I so badly wanted to be on stage singing with Eddie Vedder. I come home that night and Dana messages me about an Eddie Vedder contest. And I'm like, whoa, mind blue. Out of the blue, like granted, like we were not in, we were not in uh, communication. It was like a, a random like on Facebook. And I'm really sorry about the tragedy in your life message. Like there was not, so I just, you know, we have these thoughts, sorry, Angela, to commandeer, but you know, we have these thoughts about, hey, so-and-so popped into my head or I should reach out to, or I should, and we kind of blow them off. Yeah. I'm one of those people that I stop what I'm doing and I follow the, the nudge because they always lead me to cool, interesting stories. So I saw the Pearl Jam thing and the likely thought was, oh, that reminds me of Angela. I should reach out. And normally I'd be distracted by life and blow it off. But instead I'm like, dear Angela, <laughs> any better is your boyfriend. 
<laughs> no, you randomly sent me this thing. And I always just basically, I always joke, Eddie Vedder is my spirit animal, you know, like he connects me to different things. So anyway, so that interaction, I was like, what? Oh my God, you got to talk. And then I knew Dana was doing art. That's all of her beautiful art behind her. So I commissioned her to do the, the, <laughs> this painting for me, for my little Joshua and then my two kids, like as we are, because I was trying to think of a way to memorialize them. And, and make it beautiful as we are as a family. And so she painted this for me and it became a very spiritual experience, right, Jane? Oh like, my God. I, I, this, this baby that she lost, I can feel him with me. And I even have friends like you, Casey, that uh, are very magical and do some really extremely magical things. And I even contacted one of my friends and asked her to channel this baby and send her a message. There was something about this painting that I, I didn't understand. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I'm quite intuitive. And there was something about this painting that I knew was really, really important. It like she wanted like an 11 by 14, which is about this big. It wound up being 36 by 36 because the canvas kept getting bigger. I'm like, Angela, I have to do this large. I And we, our relationship, we began to rekindle our relationship through this painting. So go on. So, yeah, so that's my little angel baby Joshua, Casey, that we had talked about early, that we talked about yesterday. Um, so she sends me the painting, and I know Dana does intuitive guidance, and I had just come out of this spiritual guidance group, and it was kind of, I just had questions, you know. I was, I was awakening. I had, like, a semi-spiritual awakening when I got sober, and, like, the fog cleared, and I just started, like, realizing who I was, right, and kind of putting the pieces back together. But then... Um, I think I was having like, like Dana was like my activator, you know, like the, this whole thing with the, with the experience, Dana was the one that has like gotten everything together. So I asked her to do an intuitive guidance session. I, you know, we had it all set up. It was the first time I'd seen her in 30 years. I remember when we opened the Zoom call and I'm like, oh my God, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I spent 10 minutes fangirling her and I'm really embarrassed about that now. But <laughs> no, no, say more things like that. So go on. <laughs> so <laughs> we were talking about life. Dana had done a card reading before the thing and it was all lovely. It was very like um, run of the mill, I guess we could say, right? Because we didn't really know a lot. And then at the end I was like, She's like, well, do you have any questions? I'm like, I, I kind of got this little idea. Can I just read you a paragraph and, and get your take on it? And I read her the paragraph for Uniquely You. Actually, can I read it? Yeah. <laughs> I um, see your butt. I see your butt. butt. Hey, <laughs> there's my butt. So <laughs> um, I just I had this idea, and it's like one of those things that fell into my head. So this is, was on October of 2020. And me, just understand, we met, no, we had already been interacting about the painting, but we met for our intuitive guidance in November, 2020. Right, so I wrote this a month earlier and I was kind of sitting on it. An online extra education resource dedicated to serving anyone who wishes to get to know themselves better. A place to grow spiritually in business, the arts oh, and spirituality. We will create a supportive community of people who are uniquely, authentically themselves, lifting each other up to thrive in life and happiness. Purpose-driven, personalized education, not boilerplate, cookie cutter, one size fits all. Each course is designed to help you find your best self, your unique skills, capabilities, and talents. From business owners to rock stars, you are as unique as a thumbprint. These courses are here to help you find and express your differentiating factor in all you do. So I read oh, Wow, I'm so, getting hit. Okay, oh. see, man. So she read that to me, and it was like I said nothing. I just kind of listened. And I was like, oh, she hates it. All right, never She's mind. Like, I'll oh, just my God, that was so stupid. I shouldn't have said it, right? And I was like, that is fucking gold. I'm like, you have to do that. And here we are. Yada, yada, yada. I had the bisque, and here we are. <laughs> So, okay, because that was, I was leading into Uniquely You. Uh, you sort of summarized, but there's so much more of what Uniquely You is about. Uh, can you share, you know, you've got the website, which everybody could go and check out, but 
give us more goodies of about <laughs> what you what you're created with. <laughs> give her the um, goodies, Angela. The goodies. Goodies? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't okay. make me lean back. The website oh. is find uniquely you with the letter like university.com. Okay. And right now we are offering these um, fantastic. We, we call them extra education because they're not like about learning math or learning how to do moves in Photoshop. They're not specific like skills that you learn. This is more about discovering who you are and uh, different avenues. So whether there's creative expression or metaphysical or empowerment or thrivelihood, which is more on the business side of things. Um, like it, it's finding the unique skills within each of those small live virtual interview, like uh, virtual workshops, just like this interview, um, 20 students max. And we're, we're kind of turning education on its head. So in your education system, you've got your know, superintendent who tells the principal what to do, who tells the teachers what to do, who tells the students what to do, and out they go. There's no collaboration. There's just, we have, to, we have a, a goal and we get it out. And everyone's just like, okay. And they all learn the same thing. One size fits all. Here it's <clears throat> like, let's say I'm teaching um, a brand DNA course, which um, is the one that I want you to take with me, Casey, because it's going to be really fun. But um, I am going to facilitate all of my years of experience in branding and marketing and help each person individually with their unique goals. So you can have a content creator, you could have a, a business owner, you can have someone who's doing Reiki practice and they want to get their brand together. Um, it's, it's learning like the skills and I just push it out there and then everybody kind of learns from each other. And it's this beautiful collaborative experience and we make connections, we make friends, we gain clients, we are part of a community. Once you're in, you're in, it's like an imprinting thing. Your energy imprints on each other. And when you find that little thing that brings you joy and you find your people, you light up on the inside. And that light, if you're with someone else who lights up on the inside too, it, it just burns brighter and brighter and brighter. So our goal is to light up this whole fucking world and reach as many people as we can who are just maybe feeling like their light isn't bright yet or they can't find it or they need that spark. We're the spark. And you also have like um, healing workshops for people that are, you know, are even questioning I guess, like, I didn't know I was going through a spiritual awakening. And I was experiencing so And at first, you know, I was going to the church because I didn't know any better. Right. You know, but boy, was I wrong. Um, <laughs> you know, and this is a, a safe place to be enlightened, educated, heal, and then it's like the part of that transformation and becoming your true, unique, better version of yourself. Yes. Yes. We've got uh, EFT, stress relief toolkits. Um, we have uh, empowerment. Dana, D Dana does a workshop on 10 Recommandments, her book. I do a few. And yeah, she's got a, a couple, a great workshop where she goes through each recommandment. So you can go, you can go do your homework, read the book do some work and then come talk about it from the horse's mouth, the author of the book and share your experiences. That's you share your experiences with like, you know, 20 other people. And it's like a safe place to do so. Cause everybody's there for each other's better. Good. Nobody is there to, no one's signing up to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Girlfriend. You preach it girl. Um, <laughs> But the, now I put the, I got the Amazon link and there's a, um, your website link to also get the book, but on uniquely you, you could get the audio book. Yes. Yeah. So that I, I like both. I like to listen. There's something that I don't know what has transpired. I went from reading books to where I want to hear, like I have to hear for some reason, and I can look through the, you know, get the physical, but I need the audio too. So I've been really going that way. Why? I have no, but it just makes more sense to me. Yeah. 
Yeah. And Dana narrates the book herself, which is awesome. Oh, I love like, you know, that voice. You love that, that voice, that raspy, sexy voice. <laughs> but it's like, it's perfect because you hear what she, you know, the, the emphasis on the right syllables, you know, like just like she really brings home the story and the emotion in each story, whether it's hilarious or really devastating, you, you're feeling it because it's in her energy of her voice. It's, it's phenomenal. It's my um, story. It's you your know, story. We all tell our own story. And to have, you know, uh, Sandra Bullock telling my story doesn't make sense. <laughs> only when no, I'm just play me. In the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you um, know what I find fascinating, uh, Dana, is you have a, an educator background. Yeah. You've been in the education system. Yeah. And would it be safe to say that, you know, I feel that like what you two are, have been working together and from your inspiration, it should be in all schools. Give us time. Yeah, we'll get, there. we'll get there. We might take over the new earth and the homeschooling situation. I mean, that's the ultimate goal here is to provide um, people with guidance, you know, like let's say uh, ideally this like thought this was kind of birthed during COVID, much like Dana's book, right? That the, we had our babies together at the same time. And we were thinking about these parents that are having to make choices. Where do you send your school kid to school if they're forced to do certain things, right? Or, or do you keep them home and how do you homeschool them? Well, let's say you have a pod of parents that choose to homeschool their kids. We can create a curriculum for them that is about the whole child. And it is about like teaching these kids that they don't have to go through the dumpster fire life to get to this where we are. They can learn to look at them. And so they can learn to get tickled by a feather and recognize it instead of getting punched. And in not the get the good old. <laughs> yeah. <the> <laughs> um, yeah. But, but I was going to say too, um, what we're offering is anybody who takes a workshop, anyone who signs up right now gets the free version of the audiobook. So it's like a super incentive to do sign up for a workshop. Wow. That's can, I, can I say something to, to just piggyback what Angela was saying about the idea of education moving in a certain direction? Um, one of the things that, that I wanted to add is, you know, I was in education for 25 years. I, I ended my career as a director of student development in a college preparatory, a private college preparatory high school. Uh, I was in that school itself for about 16 years. Angela's background, she mentioned, she just kind of blew past it, but her background's in branding and marketing. And she uh, concluded her career as the director of the blah, blah, with the blah, blah. What exactly was your title? If you don't mind. <laughs> director of branding and general marketing, the blah, 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 blah. There you go, the blah, blah, the blah, blah. But, but I just wanted to throw out there that both of us had thriving careers. Both of us are making six figures. And at different times, we both jump shipped because we have such a passion for what we do. You know, I often say I jumped ship to be an artist because that was where my heart was. When I figured out I could paint, I was like, oh, I can't do that anymore when I know I could do this. And Angela jumped ship because she wants to save the world. And like together, we're doing both. We're doing both. <laughs> but anyway, back to education. So our belief, I never like to speak for anybody else. My belief is in our generation, right, somewhere between the ages of 40 and 60, you have a whole generation of men and women. Um, I resonate more so with the women because there's a creativity aspect to it, but there's a generation of people that have really lived that life of conditioning and programming. And, you know, we've been through all of the, um, the technological changes and all of, you know, TV being parents for many of us and latchkey kids and all that. Right. And we have, we are in this place now at 40 and 50, you know, pushing 60, that we are reversing if we're prepared to. Some of us are just going to go to the grave, you know, being miserable, but are reversing that conditioning and really rediscovering who we are, which is really the core of what your podcast and what you're all about. Teaching people the history, teaching people, you know, that, that there is a better way. 
And, and because we're in that generation where we're reversing this train, so this train is 40, 50, 60 years of momentum, and we're stopping the momentum of this train, and we're turning it, and we're pushing it back, and it's a lot of work. So oh, yeah. uniquely, uniquely understands this, and we are at first predominantly catering to those uh, and speaking to those who are like, wait a minute, there's got to be a better way, right? Life doesn't have to be so hard and it doesn't have to be so miserable. And, and whatever patterns that I'm living can be reversed. And I do have control over my ship. And we are speaking to those people that want to live a better way. Now, we also understand that there's a whole generation of children that are coming in that don't have to live the trauma and the dumpster fires, as we call them, that we did and reverse it. If we catch these children at a young age, and many of them are higher level, magical. I have an 11 and going to be 13 and a couple weeks year old. That was so grammatically incorrect. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> But I have an 11 and a 12 year old who's about to be 13 and they are little unicorns and they are being raised by a mother who isn't parenting from my own dysfunction, who has reconciled my own dysfunction and in parenting from a place of love and empowerment. And so they maintain the purity of how they came into this, this world, right? So uniquely, we, we're reaching the parents, we're reaching the adults, and we also, and I'll let Angela talk about the schools in a minute, we also have seven different schools within the Uniquely platform, and one of them is called It Takes a Village. So not only are we teaching parents different ways to approach their, parent, their children, they could be parents, caretakers, teachers, you know, any, anybody who is working with children, teaching them how to uh, better reach the whole child and not do it. I, we have an expression. I don't do it that way anymore. We don't do it any, that way anymore, Joe. Refer to my father. We don't do it that way anymore, right? We don't do it that way anymore because that way that we had didn't work. If anything, it created people who grew up with trauma and pain and dysfunction. So we are reaching the parents, helping them reverse their stuff and then teaching them how to better reach these children so they don't have to climb the mountains that we've climbed. Yeah. And, and same, I've, learned, I've learned how, like with my kids, I have a 17 year old daughter and a four year old son. And my, my 17 year old, about two years ago, we, we started working with you, Dana. A couple of years ago, yeah. And 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 my relationship with my 17-year-old, she is a great kid. She is so magical. She's so smart. She's so beyond her years. Uh, but she had the damage of, of some reckless stuff from my growing up. You know, the doctor said she had ADD. So I was like, yeah, let's put her on medicine. I didn't know better. So we kind of had to learn how to reverse that. And but now she's 17. She is ready to take on the world by storm. And it's amazing. She knows how to communicate. Now, my four-year-old, I'm parenting him from the place of understanding that I have now. So he, he's like, when he freaks out, when he, I just, it's just it's a different experience because I'm in a different, I'm not parenting from a dysfunctional growing up, you know, because I've, like Dana said, and a lot, all that's come from working with Dana, these, these learnings, these learnings about myself, but where my beliefs came from, how that all stemmed and why do I act the way I act and I don't want to act that way. What's not bringing me joy? Why am I backed up? I mean, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I just can't. And, and we, 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 as a human species, we have a tendency when we feel disempowered, we may not even realize we're disempowered and we're looking to feel more empowered to look outward for solutions, right? So I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with rituals and practices. But sometimes because we don't trust what we need, we adopt other people's rituals and practices, right? Yep. If I do this, if I go to, again, please, I say this with the utmost respect, I swear, I promise. But if I go to this church and I go to this full moon ritual and I write down, you know, my release list and then I go to a sound bowl and then, and we do all these things, but we don't realize we're adopting other people's rituals. There's no other people's beliefs, other people's beliefs. So there's nothing wrong with doing that. Like I read cards, like I read cards for myself in the morning, but the thing is, is I do it my way. 
I don't do the Iron Cross and the blah, blah, whatever. I don't, I do it my way because I know I've learned what it is about me and how I can interact with that universal wisdom through my way. So just, just to go back to it, you know, again, we start uniquely you 10 Recs for personal empowerment. I even have another children's book called beta finds your crown. And it's about teaching children about the chakras and having healthy chakra system, but not in that sort of metaphysical way in the practical way. Right. If I, you know, if I have, if my, um, if I don't feel like I have purpose in life and I don't know how to experience joy in life, let's go back to the ages between seven and 12 and see what happened during the formative years of my sacral chakra. And maybe I had some sort of trauma that's unresolved. And as a result, I've developed this pattern that now goes into my from 14 to 21, which is my sense of identity, which is my solar plexus chakra. And if we can get all that stuff aligned through the practicality of aligning the chakras, then we become more empowered. But I digress. Back to the empowerment. So what we are, what we are first and foremost presenting on finduniqueleyou.com and presenting in 10 recs of person, for personal empowerment is that it starts with you. It starts with creating a foundation. It starts with your own sense of personal empowerment and whatever it takes to get there. And when you become personally empowered, and then again, speaks to your creativity. It speaks to your the, the expansion of your intuition. And then all the spiritual fun, cool stuff and whatever it is that speaks to you. For you, they speak through you. Angela gets these beautiful visions. I'm like, I don't see stuff like that. <laughs> I have like a clear cognizance, like just this knowing and my dreams speak to me, a very prophetic dreams. We're all very different. You mentioned about your being able to, um, how you used to be able to read and now you have to hear it. That all speaks to your learning style. And again, I'm not going to get into my whole educational experience, but your, but our learning styles are the precursor to our spiritual styles. Mm. So once we become self-empowered, once we find the joy, once we remember that life is fun, once we learn how to overcome the obstacles in our life and, and then understand, oh, this is just, I have control over this and I, and I create my own reality, then the fun starts, the twat punches stop and life is beautiful. Yeah, getting back to the audio, it's, because I'm hearing frequencies and vibrations and tones that helps with my chakras and lining them up. So I get the like download, the, the clarity, the understanding, and I'm still reading too. And it come to find out I read faster because I'm listening and just going along with yeah, what, yeah, so it's yeah. retaining quicker and it's expanding my mind so i wanted to work with my brain and expanding my wit the wisdom the knowledge and the experiences and then having those realization moments and let me tell you something casey two things one is that when i was teaching in the classroom i taught english for a whole bunch of years i would always get at the time books on tape right and I'd have the kids with their books and read. So if we're reading Shakespeare, instead of everybody rolling their eyes, waiting for Johnny to finish his, you know, his Othello or whatever, you know what I mean? We can listen to it. So it really is a means of uh, good learning. The other thing is, and this is to the, um, the audio book being, you know, me and my voice, um, I was told by another trans channel a couple of years ago that the reason my paintings are so powerful, I'm like trying you know, have everything's reversed, how my paintings are so powerful is because the energy that I put into those paintings, people receive it. They don't even realize what it is, right? And if I give somebody a print, it's less powerful, but it still has some energetic push behind it. So when you listen to 10 Rex in my voice, as opposed to somebody else's voice, You've got the energy of the author. You've got the energy of the person who experienced it, the energy of the person presenting it. And without even realizing it, when you're listening to it, you're, like you said, getting downloads and a deeper understanding that if A, somebody else read it, or B, you read it in pages. 
So I know we're supposed to go this way in this conversation and to this direction, but there's, it's just, I don't know. It's just incredible to me, the whole, the way we learn, the way we think and the way we present our energy. And that's why you're chief officer of content and curriculum. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) What a great segue. So yeah, so my job is to do all the UN stuff, but go ahead. that's, That's the beauty of it because you were like, to me, it was like connecting the dots about, you know, the little nuggets, the little things, the pieces to the puzzle. It's always been an education, but now it's it's transformed into another form of you still being an education. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, I was like, uh, like back in the day, people were like, will you ever teach again? I'm like, never. And now, <laughs> meanwhile, I'm the chief officer of curriculum and content of this online. And this platform is no joke. This pla- this is like a $300,000 investment. We're like not making moonshine in grandpappy's basement. I don't know why that just came out. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, talk about, yeah. so anyway, so this is a real, real thing. And it's really what the world needs right now. I mean, people, especially since COVID and all of the bullshit, you know, the, that's going on in the world, people are walking around going, what's even true anymore? Yeah. The mm-hmm. only thing that matters, and anybody who's listening to this, listen very carefully. The only thing that matters is your wellness is your well-being, your sense of love and joy. And when you get that handled, everything else falls into place. Stop trying to fix this over there and change this over there and do that over there. It starts here. And when you rectify this and you learn to love life again and experience joy again, the possibilities are endless. There's no limitations. Beautiful. Well, I, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and do a spoiler alert kind of thing about this. Do it. <laughs> well, I'm excited because I have checked the Find Uniquely You uh, platform, and so it is profound. It's so, like, yes, I agree. This is what, like, people are waiting for waiting. because they're at that pivotal point or that crossroad in their life and this is like the key to help them find their and go through that transformation go through the healing in the process and i am so honored and humbled and grateful that i have been approved for the you instructor so i will be teaching the things that i know about to help heal and just help people th- where they're at and help them get like grounded and healed and transform and just be find themselves. Yes, you're going to be amazing. We are so grateful that you're part of our team. It's it's just freaking awesome because it's so much fun. It's so much fun. It There's is. Nothing- I mean, I was looking at the instructors and I was like, wow, I might have to invest in that. <laughs> like, I'm Thank curious. You. Everybody. About- Everybody that has joined us, they're all phenomenal, real people. And they're just incredible. All they want to do is share their knowledge with everybody. And so you joining our team, it's like you're bringing in this metaphysical piece that's just going to be so awesome because I can't wait to take your courses personally. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> share, Angela, share with us now about our schools, about our different schools and our Ready, Set, Teach program because it seems like the perfect segue. I mean, it's your jam and I love watching you talk about us, so I could leave it with you. <laughs> okay. You want to say more things? <laughs> I see what she's doing. She's like, no, you go ahead. I'm just going to put the ball over in your court. You go over there. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, don't make me talk more. You know how I hate to talk. It's like, I do. It's like, it's like watching. Like I, I never had good, good things from my mother. She never said good things to me. But at the family dinner parties, the big thing, I'd be sitting under the table hearing her say good things about me. Like, that's how I got it. But I just love hearing Dana talk about the business. Okay. I'll say great things. Okay, Angela, pay attention. So firstly, you know, we're, we talked about how the fact that my background in education is why I am in charge of all things curriculum and content related. 
Angela's background in branding and marketing and her, oh, I don't even know what goes on in there, but there, there's just a level of brilliance. And this isn't just about, you know, you know, blowing smoke up her ass because she's sitting here. This is really about what she has created down to every, I'm going to, Give me a second to vent every goddamn spreadsheet and color coded file and God, oh no, I'm just totally joking, but she has really got every, t this is me, like the general person going, oh my God, another spreadsheet, but she has got every T crossed and every I dotted. So this is somebody, we know people who have visions, who are visionaries, who are like, wouldn't it be cool if... And we know people that are like stuck in a cubicle going, okay, I'm just going to follow directions and do what I'm supposed to do, the practical end. And Angela is somebody who was, had the, this vision, this grand vision that most people wouldn't have had the courage to embark upon and then have the goods and the understanding and the, and the practicality to back it up. And has created. So when you go, if anybody who is listening to this or watching this goes to Show us your boobs, Angela. FindUniquelyYou.com. It's uniquely you, but it's FindUniquelyYou.com. If you go there, okay, no. <laughs> She's all like, eh. So if you go to FindUniquelyYou.com, every we, she's had a software company come in, Scopic Software, which are, they're amazing as well, come in and like really do like the work work. But everything about that website has something that has come out of Angela's brain. Every single thing from the, 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 the video, just the concept of the videos for the U instructors, every, everything, just the way the pages are laid. Oh my God. I don't even know because that's not my, my lane. So I'm just like, Angela will do that and I'll stick in my lane, but it's mind blowing what she has created. And, um, and the investment, like I said, we're talking about a $300,000 investment and I am a, a large uh, portion of that investing. And it was like, you know, how do I fill out the check? Like that's how much um, value and uh, um, that's how much credibility that this has. But anyway, so let me just tell you about the schools. So there are seven schools of thought within this, you know, this university. There is, and you're going to have to help me, Angela. There's a school of metaphysics. That's where you reside. There's a school of empowerment, which is where I reside. There's a school of thrivelihood, because it's not your livelihood. You're thriving. That's where Angela resides. There is the, the it takes a village school. It's about the children. I also reside there. There is the School of Pharmacy, F-A-R-M, and that's all the people that are about like, you know, immunity boosters and plant-based stuff and holistic uh, um, uh, uh, curriculum and um, uh, integrative wellness and things like that. Um, there is the School of Creative Expression, your writers, your artists, your, you know, your musicians. We have a course. Um, by Miss Marie, that is, uh, she teaches sign language and she teaches it through music. So one of her courses, she does a three hour course um, using Bob Marley's One Love. And I've even taken her workshop and it's like, one love, <laughs> one heart, let's get together, oop, together. And, oh, see, no, shit. Feel all right. All right we'll take it again. Well, I'm in the car with my husband. I'm in the car with my husband, and Bob Marley comes in, and I'm all like, "One love." He's like, "Oh Jesus Christ!" <laughs> so I digress. So there's that, and the last school of thought. I made my way back. I can't believe I made my way back. The last school of thought is uh, the kitchen sink school. So it's anything that doesn't neatly fall into one of these categories can fall into the kitchen sink school. I also have to mention. Um, there is uh, another component. We have Miss Kristen Grajeda, and Kristen Grajeda is our um, Director of Cultural and Global Support, Cultural Enrichment and Global Support. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. I did it. I did yeah. it. Yeah. And she is the most amazing powerhouse of an educator. She's got a billion other skills. I'm not even, you know, but a powerhouse of an educator. And Angela refers to us as her angel wings, like I'm the left, she's the right, right? She's the light keeper. 
right? She is all about the connectivity of the uh, of the community and keeping, you know, the bringer of the light, right? Uh, Reiki certified, like the whole deal, right? I am the uh, consigliere, right? The consigliere is the one that you go to and I'm like, you know, to the mob boss and I'm like, no, we're going to yeah. do it this way. And then Angela, the mob boss is like, all right, let's do it, you know? <laughs> so I'm the consigliere and the one angel wing. Uh, uh, Kristen is the light keeper. She's the other angel wing and she's teaching a plethora of classes. She's got, she's mostly in the school of empowerment, even though her stuff could go into the school of pharmacy, right? Angela yeah, and could be in the school too. of pharmacy, but she does EFT. She does stress relief. She does, um, uh, emotional intelligence. She's doing this thing on, uh, for the school of pharmacy, What's it, what are they called? The bot, something? The bot something. So the flowers. Bot flowers. Oh my God, we're terrible. We should. Know I know. This. Sorry. But helping her whole goal is to help people with their wellness. So I'm all about self empowerment, right? Angela's all about you know getting yourself out there to do something you love, and I'm going to teach you how to create a website and teach you how to brand. And Kristen's all about empowerment in a more um, spiritual wholeness and physical wellness, um, emotional component. And that's just the three of us who are help running this ship. You know what I mean? But there are, we have this dozen new instructors that each have gone through our Ready, Set, Teach program that, um, that are really, really their own brand of superstar. They really are rock stars. And, they, and, and we offer this Ready, Set, Teach program to help them. They come in with their curriculum. Right. Oh, like you, you were like, oh, I want to teach A, B and C. And I'm like, all right, you're going to fill out the syllabus and the syllabus is going to help you structure what you're doing. And then should I go through the Ready, Set, Teach program? Uh, yeah, program? give it an example. All okay, right. so <laughs> it, it comes in four steps after you create the syllabus and after you get approved and you do our orientation. The first step is a coffee chat. And you meet with me in the coffee chat. And what I do is I help you go through your syllabus, find the, create the foundation, the structure of what you're doing, really understand the concept of what we're doing. We're not, we are here to teach material, right? I have all this empowerment stuff and I want to share it with the world. But really, I mean, equally as important, it is to share the content, but also to create the community, right? So I'm teaching them you're gonna how to engage the community, bring everybody together, tailor make the content, so to speak, to your group. You have 20 people or less in your class. And we really are like, okay, you got your foundation, you know what you're gonna do, you have the structure, you filled out the syllabus, maybe I'll throw some tips on how to improve things. And then you'll take your syllabus and I'll send you to Kristen, our light keeper. And Kristen has all the tools of the trade of not only how to teach and engage your audience, but how to do it online. So she'll meet with you and she'll give you tips for activities and exercises and all of these things that you can do to help bring your course work to life. I can easily go on there and be like, this is how you become empowered. But until I engage the community, it doesn't come to life. And Kristen is, oh my God, she is the wizard in doing that. So Kristen will, she'll work with you. She'll take your syllabus. She'll get, you know, the structure of your class, the foundation. She'll work with you. She'll teach you or she'll give you the tools and then she'll give you a deadline. All right. You have a week. I'm making that up, but you have a week, get your stuff together and show me what you got. You come back and you say, here's how I'm putting my class together. She green lights you. She sends you back to me. And now I'm lights, camera, action. And what I do is I obviously review, make sure that what you're doing is in alignment with our platform and that uh, it sets you up for success first and foremost, and that it's engaging to our community. And then I interview you and I do about a 20 minute interview. And just off the cuff, you see, I mean, there's no mistaking this is who I am. I don't even know how to control this, right? So I'm having this informal interview where I ask you questions about what you do and really get the sparks out of you and the true essence of who you are. And then we take pieces of that interview. Let me backtrack. Hold. We, I do this with you. I do this interview with you. And then, again, I green light you. I graduate you. And I send you to Angela. 
I send you to Angela with a form with all of the information that we've gleaned throughout the entire process. Pieces from your syllabus with the description of what you're doing, the goal of your workshop, you know, your, all the vital information, your name, your website, all that good stuff. And I take um, timestamps from your video, you know, the real gold with questions, and I send you to Angela. Then Angela works with her marketing department and creates a video and anybody find uniquelyyou.com show us your boobs. There you go. She goes, oh my God, both of them. My turn. Like, they didn't even know. They're like, oh my God, I think I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to go to find uniquelyyou.com, that's hilarious. You will see, you will see our new instructor's videos. And it's, and so a question will be posed, you know, like, like what inspires you? And then a clip from that interview. Mm -hmm. And then Angela gets what she calls the assets because she's the branding and marketing pro. <laughs> she takes all that information and then markets you so people will take your workshops. And she wraps everything up in a neat little bow. She gets to know the U instructor and connect with the U instructor. And then we put you on the website, put you in the database. And if you want to teach another class, you come back, and we do it again. And that's, yeah. uh, that's and it. That's so, all, folks. Yeah. And so my session is called the Rise and Shine. So, Casey, by the time you come to me, you'll be all graduated, all like ready to become part of the team. And we will go through the contract because you'll be an independent contractor. We're all about everybody making money. You know, like everybody needs a little extra cash in this in this world right now that we live in. We all need to make some extra money. So we go through like your tax documents and your contract and just everything that we can do to finalize you and bring you on as a, as a member of our team, like fully and foremost. And then we present you up to the world. Super, super cool. It's super cool. And then we, we take each other's workshops. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, you know, Angela and I are taking Wendy's What Is Your Superpower workshop on the 25th um, because we thought it would be fun. Yeah. But then it's like you talk to one of your friends and you're like, hey, Doing it was workshop with me, and then and that's how the community's built. And I don't want to just um, put Wendy's out there. I mean, there's so many. Rosie does time management. Len talks about core values um, and and how to find a career you're passionate about. Um, oh my God, Neha Mittal does all the, the embracing you and me and how to proper. Um, properly educate our parents to properly educate our children. And uh, please, who am I? Liz, Liz does watercolor poetry, which is in the school of creative expression and teaches you how to work through anxiety and emotional stagnancy to mm -hmm. through the arts. Yeah. The so are, if I left anybody out, I mean, my extreme apologies because obviously we're on the fly here and I don't have a list in front of me, but it's like we're all the, the, the thread that weaves us all together and the thread that weaves the U instructors together is everybody has the same goal and that's to help make the world a better place, right? But we all have our own way of doing it. And it's, it's, it's this concept of Ubuntu. We're all in this together, but yet we're sovereign beings all doing our own thing, uplifting and inspiring and supporting one, one another. Dude, seriously, it's fucking beautiful. It really is. It sounds delicious. It <laughs> it's so yummy. <laughs> and just, uh, we have, uh, so Niha is in India. Vanita is in England. Oh, Vanita! We, we have uh, Canada. We have all over the States. Um, oh, Julie! Julie, we have a Shockers and oh, Tantra. Yeah. Julie, Julie Isabel. Teaching you how to align your Shockers. She has Sacred Sexuality for Singles. Oh, I, I knew that would be in. your jam. I knew that would be your jam. I want to have her on my show. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> you yeah, say you have her on your show. Is, she's French-Canadian. So everything she says and does is beautiful and sexy. Everything. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> <really> like, <sighs> oh, my God. Angela and I were, were doing this, like, little, like, she did, like, a mini workshop for us. And I couldn't even watch Julie. I was watching <laughs> Angela fawn all over her. Angela's like, <sighs> oh God, she's so because incredible. she's so captivating she's so beautiful and she's teaching sexuality um um uh, sacred sexuality and again it's about breathing and aligning your chakras it's got a metaphysical component to it um but even when we have a, a youtube channel find uniquely you.com show us angela 
Okay, so <laughs> me too. Why am I gonna do it with her? It's like <laughs> so um, on our YouTube channel. You know, you have your descriptions, and like there's keywords. There's like a whole business component to it. And meanwhile, in in Julie's sacred sexuality, it really is about having people have a oneness or a connectedness to themselves, so they can show up sexually. Right. And it's about the breathing and just all of that alignment and all that stuff. And again, it goes into our school of metaphysics, but yet the write up in our YouTube channel was like sex workshop, sex workshop. Yeah, and I had to go back. I'm like, no, 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 delete, delete, delete. Because I'm like, you know, right. And we'd have every person looking for pornography yeah. winding up on our workshop. Anyway, yeah. that was a little, and that's a little definitely not what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you know, I was just thinking, I would love to have, you know, some of the, the you instructors on my show. Oh, that'd be that awesome. That would be cool. You would love them. You would love that them. Would be you cool. know, that way people, and it'll always have the, you know, find uniquely you information, but then their bio on top of that, so they can talk about what it is that they do on find uniquely you. I just oh think it's God. a... Hello? Yes, that'd be amazing. That'd you know, be amazing. And there's a couple of ways, not that we're going to suss out the details now, but there's a couple of ways to skin this cat because we're, we're a fledgling platform. So there's a, like, again, there's a dozen new instructors. There is, a, you know, there's like 50,000 of them. We could do a school at a time. There's just a couple of instructors in each school. Mm. So wouldn't it be cool to have like Miha and like me and Benita? Right, mm -hmm. this is where the school of like it takes a village, or you and Len for the like the that would be really cool because that would be that would be totally doable to have the schools and then have a couple instructors per each. Let's do it. Let's oh. get them on the show. Do it oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I could sit here and talk to y'all all day long. My God, so much fun. <laughs> we really appreciate you having us. I, I. Oh my. I yeah, we're having a great time. You're awesome. We, I'm so glad we reconnected. I know, time. right? I get a message from you like, hey, I'm on vacation. I just saw you on the news. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so great. I'm so glad you're joining us too. Like, I'm not to be an instructor. It's going to be amazing. I've been yeah. wondering what, like, like the thought, like, like the vision or the thought or something coming to me of me speaking. I did not know, like I still see myself on stage. I see, you know, a camera on me and I'm looking out, talking about something. I didn't know what I was saying though, but I saw like, it was me stepping out of my body, looking at me, talking to a whole bunch of people. Hold on, no things. And I know that this is part of it. Yeah. It's a connection to it. So. When I heard and, and looked and because I'm I'm like become the investigator. Oh, what what is she talking about? Wait, I got this email. What the, what's going on? What is she doing now? You know? And then I was like really blown away. I was like, wow, it is happening. Like this is like that platform, the safe place where people can go to find themselves and go through that transformation, the awakening, the healing. And then it's like their a guidance. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And it's just, it's just, I'm so fascinated and so like astounded and just flabbergasted. Like, <laughs> oh, you guys put this all together? Really? Like, I, I just had to come be a part of it. So I'm saying, man, Angela is the brainchild of this whole thing. But Angela and I and Kristen, we all have taken this leap of faith and left our state. Kristen, 25 years with, um, with Parks and Rec in Chicago. Right. Mm -hmm. And she's had a career that she was well respected. Uh, you know, she made a stable, decent living. And she jumped ship because she was like, oh, you know, she saw I did it. I did it a few years ago. I did it. Angela had started, just did it, started the business. And Kristen jumped too. So you have three women that are, have the balance of um, the creativity, the intuition and the practicality. And we've managed to balance that and, and create something that we're finding success with. 
right? Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing is we're modeling this and we're saying to others that are like, oh, I really have this creative side of me and my job sucks really bad. It's a soul sucking thing that I just do to keep my lights on. And we're looking to them, to you, whoever's listening and saying, take our hand because we're not selling post-its here. I mean, we are truly uh, committed and, and to what we're doing. And we're not doing it and going, ha ha, look, we did it. We're saying, come on, we'll show you how. Yeah. Join us. And you know, it's the most impressive thing about what, I know you guys invested, you know, 300K, but it's the value that you brought to the, the platform. It's the value. Yeah. Of yeah. all everyone's unique gifts, expertise, and wisdom, and how they're turning it around and, and helping others find their way. And that's you can't put money on that. No. She we I see you seeing us. I see you <laughs> seeing us. <laughs> you get it, man. You you totally get it. It's uh that's why I say we're not selling post-its. We are really just simply and as as um cliche as it sounds we're just trying to make the world a better place and we're doing it based on something that we love and we're being who we are and we're just trying to you know share it with others that's all yeah join yeah. the party my 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 leadership guidance to everybody is like dude don't stress it if it's causing stress it's not worth it Mm -mm. We're not like a nine to five structure. We are so different than anything else. Everybody has their own lives. We don't have PTO days and clocking in and, and anything like that. Everyone's just knows what they're doing, does it their own way and is expertly doing it without being micromanaged and just being their authentic selves and just having fun. If it's just, if it's stressful, it's not, it's not our jam. Yeah. No. And this is I, better I, than my group here. Look, wait. Mm -hmm. oh, do I get one of those? I will send you five. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and markers. And markers. Too. <laughs> markers, because we're so okay, cool. Look, I mean, I kid you not. You know, I got here's my pens. So <laughs> I am. There's something about markers and pens. I kid you not. I and see. <laughs> everything, if you look at my planner, everything's different colors for certain things. Oh my god, Angela, you got it. She's gonna purple and orange you right up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> I, I'm really excited. And it's like, you know, and this is for the audience too. I know that, you know, I look at things in it in a different perspective now. You know, I do I still work a part-time job. I'm grateful for that income, but I'm excited because I took action on the things that I really love to do. Like this show I did October, 2020. So it, it'll be two years, October 15th that I've had this show. It's a one man show. And then I also just launched my own. Uh, I partnered with a European company that offers uh, skincare and makeup because I've always in front of a camera and I wanted healthy, you know, European standard is totally different than the U S standards, hmm. you know? Um, so that meant something that's a value to me. Yeah. You know, everyone's like, you know, getting healthy, eating healthy, exercising. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, I'm transitioning. I'm cutting out no sugars trying to be gluten free, you know, dairy free and whatnot. And I'm like, well, what am I putting on my body? Yeah. So yeah. I finally found a company that I don't have to invest like 300 K to get my own stuff. It was just, it came across my lap and I was like, oh my God, light bulb goes on. I'm like, there it is. Hello. <laughs> cool. Where can we get some? So, well, I'll send you a link. Perfect. <laughs> I trade uh, you a marker for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the one thing I can honestly say because I think you know about this story, Dana, where I had a mole right here. No. And it started to change colors. And I thought it was my makeup at first. 
But then I realized it wasn't makeup. There was something there. And this was end of January 2014. And it wound up being basal cell carcinoma. And it was going and reaching to the back of my retina. So they cut me from here to here to here to here. Holy shit. I had no idea. Oh, no. So I, now that it's been several years, I, I see a little bit of the, the scarring and whatnot. And it's always, I'm always conscientious about it because I can look in the mirror and see it all the time. But a lot of people really don't unless I point it out. They're like, oh, yeah, now I see it. I tried this cream and I kid you not. It's like Botox in a cream. Botox. And I put it on and within seconds, it just, my scar disappeared. Really? And I, I got before and after shots. I was just like, oh my God, I don't see my scar. Oh my God. Like it was like a miracle. Like, oh my God, I don't see the scar anymore. Like, Aww. so I'm like sold. I, I get, you know, and I got it. So that's like automatic shipment every month. <laughs> you know and it does boost the collagen because when you get over your 30s come on mm, i know <laughs> we all know. we all know everybody show us your moves <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. distract distract <laughs> now if we can get some cream to lift those babies back up again right. you know, <laughs> yes. it's a situation all right we have completely devolved okay I <laughs> but it was, you know i love having these open kind of conversations that's what it's about we're being ourselves oh of course i'm just laughing because we're like we're very erudite and we have this online platform and meanwhile we're like oh, <laughs> And to quote our friend Anne Marie, welcome to clown school, man. Welcome to clown school. <laughs> well, ladies, it was definitely a pleasure. And I look forward to joining you in in this platform, in this school, and to share and to grow. And th it's an exciting journey and adventure. And this is another thing that I'm so excited to do this is what drives me because i know that intuitively okay it's time to show up stand up show up yep yeah yep. because they're waiting and i'm like okay yep yep and just a little just to add because i know you're going to put our information out there but on the 28th angela's birthday birthday. On the 28th of August, we are having an orientation for those who submit an application to be a U instructor. So if any of this resonates with any of you, go on the website again. Gangela? No, your boobs. Oh, there it is. You're <laughs> 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 tired. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> Girl, we're your old boobs here. Come on. Oh, I love oh, it. Go on finduniqueu.com. Uh, uh, become, uh, become a U instructor. Uh, you can learn all about just the high level of the program, and there's a big orange button that says submit an application, and it takes you to the application. Um, yep. Put that in before the 21st if you can. Um, you know, if there are people like you, Casey, out there that are in your audience, we would love to meet them. Yeah. 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 And um, if you have an idea, let's just say you're a coach, you have your own brand, you do Reiki or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be metaphysical, but you have your own thing already established. And you're like, I've never taught in a classroom before. And you're a little intimidated by the syllabus. Just put in a, a tentative structure. Just, the syllabus is really just about you wrapping your brain around what you can do and putting it in writing. It does not have to be perfect. It has to be complete because I'm an ex-English teacher and I'm grading you. I'm grading <laughs> you. It has to be complete, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So just get it in. If it's something that you think speaks to you, come to the orientation and there's no commitment. If it doesn't, if it's not a fit, you know, because we don't want you if you don't want us, you know what I mean? Like it's got to align. So if it doesn't fit, then that was kind of awful. We don't want you if you don't want us. But the point <laughs> is, is there has to be a, an alignment. There has to be a symbiosis that, that we all can agree on. Then you don't, 
you know, continue with the Ready, Set, Teach program. But if, again, you know if this speaks to you. It either speaks to you or it doesn't, right? Um, I, have a, I, I do have a question because I'm such a visual uh, kind of person. Could the, like your course or the syllabus and whatnot, could it be like a webinar presentation as well to where so, people see like um, an artifact of something and you can provide the resource of where to go and find it but to it's like a presentation but it's like a webinar kind of thing is yeah. that available for those that like to teach that way yeah so you're going to fill out a syllabus just to create your structure is not student facing and you're also going to create a presentation and that's where kristen's going to come in and help you so like let's say you want to show an artifact and talk about a time period or a civilization or whatever it might be and then if you have 20 students in your room, Kristen's gonna teach you how to do like a breakout room so that there can be discussions and then they can come back, you know, different things like that. But yes, we have all the technology of, a, of an online classroom. So you can upload slides, you can do a link to a, a, a YouTube video if you wanted to show a video or mute play music in the background while you're doing some kind of meditation or something. Um, there's a chat feature. There's all the stuff that you need to run a classroom, all the tools that you need that you can either use or not use. Some people are just, let me talk to you, let me present to you some ideas um, and then not show any slides. And then there are other people who have like animated slides and videos. Oh yeah, stuff coming in from the left and the right. Yeah. So it's, it's a, and, it's, and some people have handouts before the workshop begins. Right now we're using Slack as a messaging platform because we're currently building a custom messaging platform and social platform in our Spark Lab, um, which is going to be awesome. Because then you just hang out in the application and you can chat with everybody. Um, but in in Slack, you're, as a new instructor, you can send documents before, you can send video links before, and say, "Okay, guys, get ready because here's some material to focus on." You know, come with a question or give them an assignment that's fun. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh and wow. Just to be clear, the submission, if you wanted to become a U instructor and you wanted to submit a form, you'd submit the application online. That's not the syllabus. That is just, you know, a little questionnaire so we could get a sense of what, who you are and what you offer. After the orientation, then we start the step, the process of what to do. But just understand, we are so hands-on because we are so invested on every level, right? But we are so invested that we are literally holding your hand through the process. If you are willing to do your part and do the work, there is there are no limits. We will guide you the whole way. If you don't want to do your part, then this might not be the right place for you. But I believe if you're submitting and you are picking up what we're putting down, then you're right for us. Yeah, yeah. And we, and we go through all the details in the orientation much, much more. We have the slides and everything. So even if you're like on the fence and not quite sure, it doesn't hurt to submit the application. And if we accept it, like, you know, you fill out the, all that, basically fill out all the, all the columns. <laughs> um, you'll be invited to the orientation. And from there, you can make the decision if you want to proceed or not. So it really is like a if you're kind of not sure, check it out and come hang out with us because it's just like a fun afternoon on my birthday. Yeah. Come say hi. It's your birthday, and we are so charming. I mean, we're so charming. Or <laughs> <laughs> go and sign up for one of the courses if you if you're not, you know, wanting to be an instructor. You're not ready for that, but you want to test the waters and see what others are doing, and you're curious about or have a question about a certain topic and. There's yeah, an yeah, we got a lot of take the course, a yeah, lot of cool courses. Lot. Check it out, check it out. I'm taking so, what is your superpower because I'm curious. Take it with us, take it with us. It'll be so much fun. <laughs> Definitely take it with us. It's gonna be a good time. I am. Um, I look forward to it. Yeah. Oh my and, God, Casey! Thank you, thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you, you guys so are much. such a delight. Oh, this is so much fun. Thank you so much. My <laughs> unicorn, Dana. She's oh, I got you. <laughs> oh, I'll tell God. you what about that, Angela, another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It was a, was a pleasure. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll be in touch. Thank oh, you, Casey. You're, amazing. you're the Thank best. You. <laughs> Bye. Well, there you go. You never know who I'm going to have on my show. It's Wake Up With KC, and I'm telling you, go to the links, 
go to the description notes, check everything out, check them out. There might be something waiting for you. So until next time, you never know who I'm going to get on my show. Let's wake up with it, Casey.